Well, hello friends. This is Amy Frilici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I have, I always say this, right? But I've got another super cute little treat idea for you. I love everything about this. I love the ribbon and the paper and then the fun little pumpkin. And then of course, this little sentiment, this, hey there pumpkin. I think that's such a cute, fun little sentiment. So let me show you, what do I wanna show you first? Well, I think we'll start with the stamp set that inspired this project. This is the Harvest Hello stamp set. And I love that this is a little bit different than we've had before in terms of kind of the theme or imagery um, in a stamp set. The fun thing is, so this pumpkin image right here is what I used um, on that right there, obviously. But then there's also an apple because we have a coordinating, this is the apple builder punch, I think it's called, but obviously it works really well with that pumpkin image as well there too. So that's kind of fun. It's very versatile, I would say. And then some really fun sentiments in this stamp set too. We've got, welcome back, you make me smile, give thanks, hey there pumpkin, to an A plus teacher and feel better soon. And then some other fun imagery in there as well. And then like I said, we've got that punch that works perfectly with the apple and the pumpkin there. Um, you can get those in a bundle too. So you can, um, if you want to get the stamp set, if you want to get the punch, if you want to get both of them, you can get them in the bundle. And before I forget to mention, I will tell you, I will include the item codes for everything that we use on this project will be in the details to the YouTube video. So when you're ready to order and make this cute project, just grab those item codes, um, hop on over to my website. I'll give you that information too in the details um, to the YouTube video. You can get your order in and be able to make fun, cute little treats like this as well. Okay, so let's see, what else do I wanna show you? Well, you know what, I have to show you the designer series paper. This is a really small piece. I'll give you dimensions in just a sec, but this is part of the Come Together designer series paper. So can you see, I love that kind of plaid in there and some um, kind of non-traditional a little bit, I would say uh, fall colors. I love the pretty peacock in there. We've got some Cajun craze, Mary Merlot, and then I jumped over because I didn't actually use, this is mint macaron and pear pizzazz. I didn't use those colors in this project, but those are beautiful. Uh, like I said, a little bit different colors in there too. I also used a little bit of early espresso um, for the stamping and then the little stem on the pumpkin. So let me give you uh, dimensions and then we'll go ahead and get started making this fun little dream project. Okay, so this is for the box itself. This piece of pretty peacock cardstock measures three and three quarters by six and a half. And then this little piece of, this is Mary Merlot designer series paper, or I'm sorry, cardstock, <laughs> measures two and a half by two and three quarters. And then our come together designer series paper measures two and one quarter by two and a half. And I think these are all just little scrap pieces of Cajun craze. We've got Whisper White and Early Espresso cardstock to do our stamping and punching. So let's see, let's do, um, let me make sure, <laughs> did I leave enough room? I have my scoring plate here. I'm gonna try to wiggle this in here and get this guy going. Can we see, let me make sure, yep, okay. So on our, let's see, on the long side, we are going to score at one half an inch and it looks like Lily still has these Oh no, you know what? That's not right. <laughs> Here I am trying to follow her directions. Okay, forget I made that little mark right there. Back it up. This is the long side. On the long side, we are going to score at three inches and at three and a half inches. So I'm going to do that one more time. I was starting to say my daughter Lily helped me make a bunch of these recently and she put those little pegs in there, which are really handy, except they were marking along the short side. So along the short side, we are going to score, oops, at one half, I'm being kind of funny today, one half and then at three and one quarter. I'm gonna just do those. And that's all you do, basically, to make your little treat box. Then we are going to grab our scissors and we're just gonna cut up along the score mark at the three and three and a half inches on both sides up to that long score mark right there. So we're just gonna do those right there. Then just wanna kind of fold everything in and you can see how easy this box is going to come together. 
Then, where is my tear and tape? Right here, buried underneath some other things. You really need to use a more substantial adhesive than the snail adhesive. When you go to put the treat in this box, um, it's pretty tight fit in there, so it's gonna kind of press against things, and I don't think it will um, hold up very well if you just use snail. So you wanna use something a little bit stronger. So I've got my tear and tape here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on these flaps right here. So the idea is going to be that we're going to take that tear and tape off of there and these are going to fold in right along there. So then I want to put some tear and tape along those pieces and then we'll fold that side in right there too. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Add a little strip of tear and tape and I love this tear and tape. It's so easy to work with. I do still love our fast fuse. I will tell you, I still have some fast fuse left. And for my own purposes and making a bunch of these, I did still cheat and use some of that. In the meantime, until we come out with something similar, you can use your tear and tape though. Okay, so we're just gonna peel the backs off of those little babies. This is probably the part that takes the longest, is just peeling. <laughs> and of course on the video, it takes even longer than it would if I were just sitting in my craft room. So can you see, I'm just gonna fold that up. And I like to work with it right down on the table because I think that gives a nice um, kind of 90 degree angle there. But I wanna press pretty firmly there. Okay, now I'm gonna run my finger. I think that's helpful too, to kind of really um, press firmly on there so that when you pull the backing off of the tear and tape, that it all, hmm, I must have ripped a little too quickly there. Okay, there we go. And I went a little bit beyond the edge, so I wanna peel that back down a little bit. And then this one looks like it's good to go here, I think. <laughs> like I said, on the video, it always takes a lot longer than if I were doing it. I'm just sitting in my craft room. Okay, good. And I'm actually gonna cover up that little score mark that I made on accident when I do this. So we're going to just kind of fold that in right there. And the other side can go right about there. Okay, so I didn't press super firmly until I made sure I had it where I wanted it. So there is our little box. So super simple, easy little box, right? Okay, let's do, we can, um, let's see, might as well go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this piece. Oops, what do I have? <laughs> I have like faulty equipment here, or maybe it's the user, I'm not sure. I, th I thought, oh my gosh, did I run out of snail just in time for the video, but no, I'm okay. Okay, so that piece is gonna go on there, but I do wanna put the ribbon on first. So let's get the rest of our pieces together and then we'll finish her off. So we've got Cajun Craze ink and my cute little pumpkin stamp. Tap, 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 press down firmly, lift up. Good to go there. And then I'm gonna grab my early espresso ink. Let's get that one out of the way. So I just have a little strip here of early espresso cardstock. I tend to have lots of these little half inch strips. So I just put the little stem there. And then, now this is the trick. Tons and tons of these half inch strips too. I brought a few of them because they're not always great at um, making it straight along here. What I do find is if I put my little pointer, my pointer finger kind of on the corner of the stamp, that tends to help. And that's pretty good. So we're just going for it. I thought I brought the whole strip just in case I needed a little bit more um, <laughs> stamping room if the first stamp didn't work quite right. But I think we are okay there. So I'm just gonna trim this up with my paper snips. And there's our little sentiment. Okay, um, let's do some more punching. So I've got my Apple Builder Punch. All right, I'm gonna open this baby up. We're gonna pop him in here. Punch that little guy out and then move that out of the way too. I have, so that little, can you see that little stem? And I found that these little half inch strips work pretty well. Although, oh my goodness, can I even see? Can you see? Hopefully you can see that little stem fits in there. Pop that little baby out, move him aside. We are good to go there. Okay, let's do, oh, okay, now I'm gonna show you what we're putting inside. So these are uh, Little Debbie Pumpkin Delight Cookies, they're called. So you can get these probably at about any grocery store, Walmart, 
um, whatever you like. So we are going to, I like to kind of fold that down a little bit and then he just slips in there, right? And then where is our ribbon? I am using my favorite, I love, this is the Pretty Peacock an Old Olive. It's like a reversible, one side has one color, the other side has the other color. Um, so let's see, we're gonna just put that right up there about like that. And now the trick is to tie, I was kind of holding these in my lap <laughs> the other night when I was making them. Actually, I wanna give a little bit more end there, but I can't really do that and film a video. So we are going to um, try to do this on top of the table. Okay, oops. <laughs> there we go, I think we've got it. So basically we're just tying a bow. Maybe if I lay it down, that will be easier. Oops. That right in there. There. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. We will kind of clean that up in a moment here. I want to kind of pull that up on the top. Maybe fix these things just a little bit. When I do that, it loosens up, so we want to tighten it back up. But I think that looks good there. Um, oh, no. Look, I've got a... I love to angle my my bows or the ends of my ribbon just a little bit there, okay? All right, now we can go ahead and put this strip or this piece of, again, Mary Merlot and Come Together Designer Series paper can pop right on there. And that kind of helps hold the ribbon in place. Then I need some dimensionals to go behind my little pumpkin. Oh, and I forgot to mention too. Let me see if I can find it. I thought you guys wouldn't want to watch me. <laughs> There's no dye for this little, that little leaf right there. Unfortunately, super cute little image in the stamp set, right? So the punch punches out the apple, well, apple, pumpkin, and the stem and the leaf, but it doesn't punch out this leaf. So we had to use our paper snips. So this is Pretty Peacock cardstock stamped with Pretty Peacock ink, and then I just trimmed it out with my paper snips. I figured you guys wouldn't wanna watch me do that, so I did that before I filmed the video. And so what we're gonna do is just put a little uh, baby dimensional, mini dimensional on the back of that blue leaf. Then we are going to also, I'm gonna flip that over so I make sure I like how that looks. There we go, just put the little stem behind there. Okay, we are gonna peel the dimensionals off. Pop that little baby on there. And then we've got our little leaf. Just add him there. And then last thing, our little hey there pumpkin. Put a couple more of the little mini dimensionals on the back of that. And then we're gonna pop this on. And you've got your super cute little hey there pumpkin fall pumpkin delight cookie treat. So what do you guys think? Aren't these, I just think they're so cute. I love the colors. Um, that ribbon I think really makes them too and the pretty designer series paper. So I hope that you all enjoyed that fun little treat idea today. If you are so inclined to make any of these projects, uh, like I said, item codes are all in the details to the YouTube video. Make sure you hop on over to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Grab the host code that's on my blog when you go to put your order in because every Friday I do a Facebook Live video. And when you put an order in and use that host code, you always get the projects I demonstrate on Facebook Live and your name goes in a drawing to win that week's Facebook Live give giveaway. So just make sure you use that host code. Plus, it gets even better. If you bump your order up to $50, I also send you a free embellishment in addition to all this fun stuff for your order. So please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator yet, I'd love to be your demonstrator for you, answer any questions, um, help you out with project ideas. Um, so send me a message. I love to hear from you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day and I hope you were inspired. Bye, everybody.